All righty, we're joined now by Stacy Lewis here at the LPGA Drive-On Championship. Stacy, how are you? And uh, I know you have an announcement. I do. I'm, I'm doing well. It's excited um, to start another year and um, pretty cool day for kind of my camp of people and my instructor, Joe Hallett, uh, got the PJ of America's Teacher and Coach of the Year. So um, just wanted to give him a little shout out and super proud of him. Um, I've obviously, we've both known for a couple of months now, so it's nice to let the cat out of the bag and um, get to celebrate with him. What's he kind of meant to you and is, you know, any kind of fun stories you guys have together? Uh, gosh, well, we started working together my the end of my rookie year. So we've worked together for a long time and He's just always been a great sounding board, um, keeps things super light, um, has some really bad dad jokes, and, um, you know, just he's put in so much work. And I think the stat that I heard is he, he also has won the Horton Smith Award, so he's only the second PGA professional to win both awards. So, um, so he's worked really hard for this, and I'm just proud of him. Absolutely. All right, now on to you. Just, you know, how's it been since, the, since we last saw you, and, you know, what'd you do this offseason, and what, kind of, what have you been kind of working on? Um, this off season was um, a lot of time with the family. Uh, went by way too fast. Um, lots of family time in December. Went on a few trips. Um, Christmas was a lot of fun with Chesney. And then um, really after the first of the year, kind of got back into it, kind of working on some things with my golf swing. And uh, just really want to play better golf this year. Just really struggled with my golf swing last year. And um, you know, Joe and I have been working hard the last few weeks to just try to get some momentum more than anything and get things feeling a little bit better. How does the swing feel and how is it kind of, how have, how have you felt out on the course uh, and how has the course kind of played for you? Um, I'd say it's still a work in progress. You know, it's, it's some changes and some things I need to fix that aren't going to be fixed in a week. Um, it's going to take a little bit, but it's good to get some reps on the golf course. And um, it's always different than being at home or being on a driving range. So just getting some reps is going to be helpful for, you know, because I'm not going to play again until March. So uh, good of like figuring out what to work on for the next month or so. Absolutely. Any big goals for, for 2024? Obviously another Solheim Cup year, but outside of yeah. that, you know, any kind of personal on the course goals for you? I don't want to play Solheim, so that one's not on the list. Um, there's no way you can play in captain. I, I know I went back and forth on that last year, but there's no way you can do it. So um, just want to put myself in contention a little bit more, give myself some more opportunities to win. And um, I still feel like the game is there and I still feel like my head is still there to do it. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and, you know, speaking on golf, uh, no, excuse me, on Solheim mm -hmm. Cup, the, we, the, the doc that kind of aired on Golf Channel last week, uh, you know, what, what kind of went into that? And, you know, how has that relationship with KPMG kind of helped you through your captainship? Um, a lot went into it. A lot of you saw it was a lot of me talking. So it was a lot of interviews. Um, and it really, I wish I could have told more, um, but I didn't want to give any secrets away to the other team. So, um, but it, it's just amazing how much that helped our team. It helped, helped us, you know, get set up for the future and um, really has made things a lot easier for right now of, I know these players, I know their games. Um, I do think I'm going to have a better idea of who they're going to play with now, you know, further out, just understanding how all this works. Do you see that as kind of a, it's a unique experience or, you know, situation mm -hmm. having back-to-back -back years. Do you kind of see that as an advantage? I think so. I mean, especially for us, I don't think our team is changing a whole lot. So, um, and it's still fresh on the girls' minds, you know, they were not happy with the tie and neither was I. And so, um, so it's good that it, it's still fresh. You know, they're still asking questions. You know, they're already asking questions about a lot of stuff. So, um, so it's been fun and it's, it makes planning easier. Um, our staff is staying the same behind the scenes. So, um, it really makes things pretty easy for us. I know you'll get asked this, I'm sure a ton, but what, you know, kind of specifically as, you know, as the season starting, you know, we as fans and media can kind of look for, what are you looking for in terms of, you know, how you want to build your team this year? Uh, well, if you look last year, the play spoke for itself. Um, I really didn't have to make a whole lot of decisions. Um, the girls took care of it there at the end, and I hope it's similar. Um, but, you know, we're gonna, I still need to do some more cr number crunching and figuring out the golf course that we're going to play to kind of figure out what type of player I want there. And, um, you know, but we're, we're really set up really well now with, um, with those younger ones getting – a full Solheim Cup under their belt and they figured out by Sunday what the Solheim Cup was and the pressure of it and they handled it all remarkably well. Anyone you got your eye on that wasn't on the team last year that could make mm -hmm. a, a you know a 
could slide in. I know last yeah. year, I think last week someone said, I don't know if you saw this leaderboard, but someone said, I think, uh, you know, inside the top 10, there were a lot of American players. Mm -hmm. So it was, were you keeping an eye on that? And, you know, who, who's kind of stood out to you so far? Yeah, always watching, always watching. <laughs> um, uh, Allison Lee, the fall she had was unbelievable. Um, uh, she, of, you know, we ranked 26 Americans and she was second in strokes gained in the fall. And that didn't even include her LET win. So um, obviously she was playing really great at the end of the year. And then, um, you know, Alexa Pano, she was the only one that worked her way into CME that kind of wasn't on my list before. And then obviously got the great start last week. So, um, so those would be two outs, probably the two outside of, um, outside of the team from last year that we're, we're paying attention to. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How difficult is it juggling your own game when you're also paying close attention to mm -hmm. the Solheim Cup and the, the mm -hmm. team and everything out there? Because I know that you give 100% to just about everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Has that been tough? Yeah, yeah, it's been hard. I mean, I, I, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, it hasn't affected my game. Um, and, and as I've gotten older too, you know, I can't go beat balls the way I used to. And so, I mean, so that's been a factor as well, but, um, I have honestly enjoyed the Solheim Cup so much. Like, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I mean, I, I'll take a little bit of a slump in my game because it's, I've had so much fun. These girls have been so great. And just, you know, the staff and the tour has allowed, allowed me to be really creative and open to change and open to pushing this event forward. And, um, you know, that's, that's been great to see too. Has it been easier? No, now this is the second time. So now you know mm -hmm. what to expect. Yeah, much easier. Um, <laughs> December got to actually relax a little bit and didn't have to do so much planning. Um, helpful, our same kind of group of core people that help me is going to be the same. Um, I, it is going to be a little more difficult being at home, though. Um, more, more, more people involved in general, um, more asks for me. And then the players are going to have more people around them. So it's going to be a little bit different of a challenge, but... Um, but yeah, just having the, the one under our belt, we've got a blueprint and now we just, we're gonna add to it. Stacy, how important do you feel like the culture shift that you kind of created last year was mm -hmm. to the future success of this American team? Um, well, I, I mean, gosh, we're not gonna know that for a couple of years probably to, you know, my goal is that it transfers outside of me being captain, that it goes to whoever is next and, um, I've started a notebook that I'm going to pass on to the next captain just of everything we've done and communication and, um, and they can use it as much as they want or as little as they want. Um, but if we can keep this blueprint in, in place for the players that it becomes very similar from year to year, I think it makes the transitions from captains more seamless and, um, and it makes it easier on the players, which you make it easier on the players, they're going to play better. I know, obviously, Europe's retained the cup the last three years, but it seems like there's been a shift in the American mindset when it comes to the Solheim Cup. Mm -hmm. um, this year, in particular, being at home, how hungry are these girls to, to bring that cup back to, back to soil? We've got a lot of girls on this team that have never experienced winning a Solheim Cup, so they are, they are more than hungry. We've got a lot of caddies that have never experienced winning a Solheim Cup. So, um, you know, and that's why... You know, that's why Lexi was in that last match on Sunday. You know, she had all the experience. There's nobody I trusted there more. So, you know, we're, we're in a great spot as far as our leadership and the veterans that are, have stepped up. And, and I'm going to do that with, you know, my assistant captains. I'm going to go. F I want people that have had a lot of experience to experience winning. Um, so these girls know what it's like. And, but they are hungry. I do know that. They, they want to win week in and week out. So we don't have to worry about that. Thank you so much, Stacey. Yep, thank you.